this way. Oh, Paimon sees the cart, but what are these hilly trolls doing here? Do they want some fresh fruit now, too? To the rescue! For their own good. But never mind that. Are you okay? Did they hurt you? Phew. I'm fine, thanks to you. You were just in time. Any later, and all you found here is a pile of pulp. And I don't got it. Well, thanks again. I'd better not delay this delivery any longer. So, goodbye and happy Vine Lace Fest. Thanks to you too, kiddo. <sighs> Enemy following. Enemy? <laughs> I think we're a little closer than that. On some level, you could even say that we're brother and sister. Actually, turning up at random places is pretty normal for you. Okay, next question. What the heck do you mean, brother and sister? Varka taught you how to use that sword, I take it. Swift, but powerful. <laughs> I can spot that old-timer's style anywhere. Uh, huh? I see you're not much of a talker. Well, there's something else you could learn from Varka. Never lost for words, even when he has nothing to say. It'd be good conversation practice for you. Just a shame we have no idea when I'll be back. It's okay. I will wait. Brother and sister? Varka? Oh, Paimon gets it. Varka is a father figure to both of them, so that makes them feel just not by blood. Well, blood relations are overrated anyway, don't you think? Oh, I almost forgot. You have a sister. Cold, dark grown-up. You also don't remember what your real mother and real father look like? Huh. So you're helping him dig up some info on his biological parents. And trying to help him build a concept of family along the way. All right, you got me. I barely have any memories of my birth parents. The last time I saw them was long before I had any understanding of the world around me. But that seems pretty common. Even in this day and age, there are plenty of people in the world who can't stop thinking about their families, but will never get to see them. Anyway, if you're never gonna meet someone, it's not worth spending mental energy on them. It's more important to focus on the kind of person you want to become. No, you are wrong about this. Lupacol protect each other. Human family, also important. Must care about them. Fine. So let's say you do find out who your parents were and they were saints. Or the opposite, they were complete monsters. What then? How would that affect your life choices? What would you do about it? Um... Whew, Rosaria's take is a little on the nose. That's a hard one for Razor to answer. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to make this any more difficult than it already is. But Razor's feeling lost and confused right now, and all the other monstatters we know are too sunny and bright to tell it like it really is. 
The sun nurtures many good things, but it can't do anything about the problems lurking in the shadows. Wow, Rosaria! All right, I'll leave it there. <laughs> Take this flower. It's icy cold, just like me. Barbara's busy preparing the sung poetry event for the Vine Lace Fest. She couldn't get away, so I picked an ingredient out on behalf of the church. But can we really use a mist flower? Won't it freeze the entire barrel? No, not now that I've dealt with it. The bard did say to think freedom, didn't he? So go on, take it. It won't be a problem. Aw, Rosaria! You're more thoughtful than Paimon realized! <laughs> Thank you. Don't mention it. It's nothing. Varka's been a big help to me in the past, so just consider it returning a favor. Besides, if I'm your older sister, I might as well act like it. Good luck finding your answers. Now you see her, now you don't. I'm on slowly getting used to her style. Oh, oh well, as love tender and true goes, that was pretty awkward, but still counts, right? Now all that's left is the Knights of Avonius. <sighs> Razor, are you still thinking about what Rosaria said? Her words are like mist flower. They are cold, and they sting. But cold also good for wounds, like Wolfhook. I need to think about it. Maybe then I will understand. Okay. I will come with you. I think while we walk. So you see, you're the best person for this. Oh, ho, just in time. Lisa and I were just talking about Razor's situation. Where were we? Ah, yes. The barrel. Huh? But uh, obviously the next part is supposed to be a defender's will. But what kind of ingredient is a barrel? Oh, fair enough. <laughs> oh, Paimon, don't worry. You'll get your ingredient. I've already tasked someone with sorting it out. The person is very conscientious and wants to properly research their contribution, so it may take some time, but hopefully it'll be worth the wait. As for the barrel, how else were you planning on mixing all the ingredients? Surely not in the giant cooking pot at Dada Upa Gorge. After much deliberation, I realized this was a job for the most sociable and savviest member in our ranks, the Cavalry Captain. So I asked him to take a trip to the Dawn Winery and somehow bring back a wine barrel. Uh, all right, spare me the flattery, Lisa. We're all friends here, and I know you're only trying to help your student. But I haven't been back there in a long time. This could be quite difficult to accomplish in just a single trip. Difficult? For you? Don't be silly. Negotiating is your biggest strength. Fine Lisa Fest is one of the most important festivals in Mondstadt, and you know how Diluc thinks better than anyone.
Just drop a few little hints, like how this is the first festival Mondstadt has had in a long time. We're short on much-needed supplies for a multitude of reasons. Oh, who can help us? When he hears that, I guarantee you he'll offer to help out with finances and sourcing goods. Lisa's literally trying to extort Master D. Luke. Hmm. I suppose. All right. I'll head out right away. Well, he didn't take much persuading. <sighs> and Paimon was just about to thank Lisa for the things she's been doing for Razor behind the scenes. Oh, Paimon doesn't even know whose side to be on anymore. <sighs> Traveler and teacher did a lot for me. A lot of work. But me, I still can't answer questions. So useless. Dear me, what's gotten you so upset, my little wolf cub? We can't have you being so down in the dumps. Ah, I see. Hmm, cutie, how about you keep Kaya company while I stay here and help Razor process his feelings? As his teacher, I owe him some tutelage anyway. Come and collect him in a few days' time. The last ingredient should be ready by then as well. Splendid. I was just thinking about how nice it would be to have some company on my trip. I don't know what is right, but I trust teacher. I accept. Oh, or aren't you a sweet one? But this is as much my business as yours. It's my pleasure, really. Run along now, and don't forget to tell Diluc that the Knights of Favonius send our regards. My heart feels like rotten berries. So sour. I don't understand what I should do. Oh, all right. I'll teach you a very special magic trick that can make all your troubles disappear in the blink of an eye. But before we do that, let's warm up with something a little bit easier, hmm? Let's practice some talking. That way, the next time somebody helps you, or you have a different opinion from the rest of the group, you'll be able to express what you think clearly and precisely. Okay. I will do my best. I'll protect us. I'm sorry. My mind was elsewhere. What was your question? Ugh. Never mind. Nothing that important. <sighs> Hi there, Master D. Luke. Oh. I was just wondering who'd be coming all the way out here during the Vine Laser Fest. So, it's you two. <sighs> and you, too. Brr, so cold. Almost enough to make me feel unwelcome here, Master D. Luke. Don't forget that this is my home, too. I'm fairly certain that taking a trip home during festival season is a universal custom, common to all the cultures of Tevat. Please get to the point. The point is one that you've already raised yourself, the Vinlesa Fest. To celebrate this long-awaited festival, the Acting Grand Master has been coordinating with both the Church and the Adventurers Guild to host a series of events. Unfortunately, given the financial situation of the Knights of Favonius, well, I'm sure you can imagine. And the Knights of Favonius' woes have what exactly to do with me? Hey, no need to be so cruel. Even I'm not going to take that. 
Everyone's just doing the best they can for Mondstadt. Now, I can't remember the last time I tasted Don Winery's Vinylesa Fest special. And I'm sure the Mondstadt populace would echo this sentiment. Are you going to deny others the opportunity to drink to their heart's content just because you don't like to drink yourself? Check it out! Kai is not so subtly asking for freebies. He's actually doing it! Anyway, speaking of the knights, everyone dearly hopes that you'll rejoin our ranks again one day. Then we'll be one big happy family again. If we were able to enjoy the sterling reputation of Master Diluc, my, I'm sure people would be queuing for our charity booth all the way to Falcon Coast. <sighs> Give that silver tongue of yours a rest. You might need it to maintain public order at the festival. Duly noted on the financial issues you raised. I'll have Elzer follow up with Hertha in more detail. And I just so happen to have a batch of wine that I can offer as a token of appreciation to everyone that has been working so hard for the festival. Shall I address it to you personally? That would be an absurd request, even for me. The words, with compliments from the Dawn Winery, ought never be preceded by, to the cavalry captain. Is that not the unwritten rule? You're better informed than I thought. In that case, I will leave this with Adeline and keep everything anonymous. I really can't thank you enough. Master Diluc is so generous! That's all Paimon needs to get that warm, fuzzy feeling. <sighs> Which is just as well since you won't be allowed to drink a drop. Huh. Are you two here regarding the Vine Laser Fest too? <laughs>